Panini de Ambra, and this is Ambra, owner of the restaurant. Thank you for being here. Um, so, firstly, where are you from? I'm from Milan, Italy, yeah. which is the least known for its cuisine. Oh. But <laughs> it has its own particular dishes and trends, which are different from other regions that are more trendy here. Okay. I moved here in uh, 1991, and uh, this cafe started in uh, 2008, mm -hmm. which was about four years after my okay. the beginning of oh, my wow. catering on set. My passion for cooking started when I moved there, actually. Okay. Because uh, I think because of uh, the nostalgia of the foods mm -hmm. that uh, I was brought up with, and I couldn't find the um, ingredients in the foods that I always loved in Italy. I felt like I had to do it for myself. Yeah. And uh, you know, when I start doing it for myself, I start introducing all the foods that I was brought up with in Italy to my friends. Actually, panini is one of the most common lunches in in Italy. What's, what's your favorite one? <laughs> I have a favorite one every day, yeah. <laughs> so depending on what I feel like, that's my favorite yeah. of the day. Coffee in Italy, as you know, is like different from yeah. anywhere else yeah. in the world. It has to have that little yeah. beautiful cream yeah. on top. Oh, it has yeah. to be creamy yeah. and great. And that, I really wanted that to be uh, the way it was at home. My husband was more than expert than I am. Okay. Um, start searching for different coffee beans and and we start like putting them together and uh, toasting them and finally we achieve the result that is excellent. People come here and uh, I don't name our competitors, yeah. but they, <laughs> they, they like our coffee better. And oh, really? That's our pride. In a world of Starbucks, it's good to have. Yeah, you cannot have espresso at Starbucks. <laughs> no. Gaia is our brand of coffee. We mix it here in a house. It's approximately five different kinds of Arabica coffee. It's our formula, and we're standing very proud of it. It has been really award-winning, getting compliments from all of the mass production. There are a couple of production houses they are buying from us, like Paramount does it and Universal for certain productions. I won't say the names, but they love our coffee because it keeps them awake late night in the evenings working. I cared for commercial sets and okay. at the time music videos. What I did, I just picked up the phone and I started calling production companies and producers and production coordinators. If I would offer paninis on set, mm -hmm. would you be interested? Oh, what a wonderful idea, of course I would. The great thing about the United States is that when you have a good idea, somebody opens the doors for you mm -hmm. and they give you a chance. Yeah. If you mess up that chance, yeah. then you're done. Yeah. So then it's up to you to to, yeah, you know, you to make do it the, the right way. way. Yeah. yeah, to make the most of it and show them that you have a value and and you're doing something the way it should be supposed to be. Like, yeah, making a pizza dough. Okay. It is for be more specific. We make pizza al taglio. So this dough, it's made all out of organic flour. We cover it. Let it sit for approximately 25 minutes to half an hour. Very old traditional way. But you know what? It's the best way. And I don't care what people say. And then we're going to start shaping it up. And again, everything depends on uh, temperature and barometer. The biggest purpose of this cafe was it was not the storefront, but it was the kitchen. I okay. needed a big kitchen mm -hmm. because I started doing this from home. My total investment was $500 when I started this. Wow. And, and I built from there. From now, the pizza, I can spread it once more and then start adding the tomato sauce and put, I can start putting it in the oven. The focaccia takes a little longer because it needs to rise more. This is the best tomato sauce you can find. See, it needs to be well sold. It's, this is yeah. true, it's something that I just have a you feeling have for, for it. it but yeah. when I tell you know, employees, they never know. They either put too little or, or too, too much. much. Yeah. And then now the story you have, you have olive oils, you have the coffee. When, when you choose the right ingredients, not only you know, 
the type of ingredients but the quality of the ingredients. Mm -hmm. As much as I can, I try to pick my products, fruits, some of the ingredients like sugar, eggs, yeah, meats. I try to pick the most organic I can. Because the Italian cuisine is just, when you prepare a dish, you just put a bunch of different spices yeah. and you have to follow this very complicated procedures. No. The secret of the Italian food or the Italian food that I was brought up with is mm -hmm. to keep it simple, keep the ingredients good. Mm -hmm. Quality products mm -hmm. like tomatoes, I only use the top quality of tomatoes. Yeah. Sugar, I only use organic sugar. And when people order things, they eat and they say, wow, this tastes mm -hmm. amazing. But why does it taste so? And they try, they open, they look at the food and say, this is so simple and it, it tastes so good. It's, mm. it's because it's good. The extra virgin olive oil is good, and the basil is good, and mm. we make all the sauces and you know, we try to do everything here. We make the bread, and the focaccias, the oh, pizzas. Yeah. I Personally, mm -hmm. because of the quality that I, I want to achieve, make all the focaccias and the pizzas. Can you give me a little bit of basil, please? This is a focaccia. Then it goes back inside. Jerry. These babies probably right now at 640, 650. This is the temperature right now. Then we'll carry on. That's the way it is. That's the way cookie crumbles, as they say. Why we come with the product seed, this little puppy here. They don't make this anymore, okay? But this can bake up to 750 degrees Fahrenheit. This is made in 1962, it's half a century old, and it's still in perfect condition. And so far that we did the research and heard from the gas company itself, there are only two existing in LA County. This is the one in Hollywood, and the other one is in San Pedro. We have a kid, mm -hmm. and uh, I would say that the kid brought us the cafe. Oh, really? Yeah. Aww. The other reason why we decided to open the cafe was because we needed like a, a firm point, even for our kid. Mm -hmm. We live close to here, she goes to school close to here, so we can run the business. It's, uh, it's a family business. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Uh, you're really easy thank to talk you. to. You. Absolutely. So lovely. You. Um, we have family in the neighborhood. Oh, <laughs> very good. Well. Hey guys, I hope you had a good time today and you enjoyed our little escape into Italy. I know I really had a good time. Um, until next time, bye!